To checkmate with a knight and a bishop, the most important thing you have to remember is that you can only do it in a corner that matches the color of your bishop. So since this is a light squared bishop, you have to force black's king into one of the light squared colored corners. So naturally, if black is smart enough to know that, he's not gonna go to one of those corners, he's gonna go to one of the other corners because he knows he can't be checkmated there. And when that happens, this right here with all these pieces in a line is the key position that you need to remember. So the important parts are that the knight covers the corner square, it's protected by your king, and this bishop is somewhere along this diagonal. If you can remember this position, I'm gonna show you the exact steps that you need to follow to get checkmate every time. So real quick, before we get into the knight and bishop checkmate, I just wanna go over the solution to my last video's puzzle. If you didn't see that, you can pause the video right now and try to solve this position. It's white to mate in two. For everyone else, here's the solution. Queen to h8 check, attacking black's king. Only move is to go to e7 because this square is covered by the knight. And now you can capture with the queen, checkmate because the pawn covers these squares, the queen covers all of these, and black has nowhere else to move to. Hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video for this video's puzzle. And now let's learn how to checkmate with a knight and a bishop. So the basic idea behind the knight and bishop checkmate goes like this. Once you force this key position, you bring your bishop in to take away this square from black's king. That's going to force him to go this way towards the corner where you can checkmate over here. And once he starts doing that, you're going to move your knight back and forth like this in this W shape. You can see how it kind of makes a W, so they call it the W maneuver. And as you do this, it's going to force black's king closer to the corner where you can achieve checkmate. So let's look at how this plays out in practice. So we've taken away this square, so black's king has to move over. And now we start the W maneuver. So we bring our knight back. Now at this point, black has two options. He can go this way and try to stay as close as he can to this corner where he knows he can't be checkmated. Or he can go this way and try to escape over here because it looks like um, we're leaving this board wide open. He can probably just escape and maybe even run down to this corner or somewhere back to the center of the board. So let's look at those examples one at a time. So the first option, he decides he's gonna to try to stay in this corner and, or as close to it as he can. So what do we do? Well, we continue the W maneuver with our knight. So just as a recap, this is what we're doing with our knight. So he's in check. Only legal move is to come over. We bring our king over. Again, only legal move is for him to go over again. We bring our king over again. And he can try to come back this way, but our bishop is there for the check. The knight covers this square, bishop covers this square, our king covers this square. He has to go over. And we have essentially the same position with our king and knight kind of in a line, except instead of it being here, it's over here. So great. Now we can do a waiting move with our bishop, forces his king over again. And you can probably figure out what the next move is going to be. Go ahead and take a second. That's right, we bring our knight back. Remember, we're just following that W shape. And if he moves this way, he's gonna get checkmated even sooner because he's just going into the corner that we want. So the only logical move for, for black is to go back here. And then we complete the W maneuver. So our knight has went like this. Now he's in check, has to go back this way. We bring our king over. The only legal move, black has to go there. Now we can bring our king over. If he tries to escape, again, we check with the bishop. He has to go back. And we have accomplished what we tried to do. We started with his king all the way over here, and we have forced him all the way here to where he's now ready to be checkmated in the correct corner. And now white has mate in four. If you want to pause the video and see if you can find that, feel free to do so. If not, I'll just show you the answer. So here we go. Play knight to c5. Black's only legal move is to go to the corner. And now we just need to do a waiting move with our bishop. We have to be careful. If we move our knight here right now, we would take away black's square would be stalemate. So we just have to do a waiting move with our bishop. We can move it back here. He has to move over, only legal move. We can bring our knight to a6 check. He has to move into the corner. And now we can use our bishop, checkmate. The knight covers this square and our king covers these squares. So let's go back and look at the second option that black has. So after you force his king over, you bring your knight back. We just looked at this one. The other option that he can do is go this way and try to escape here. It really looks like he's gonna be able to either get back to the center of the board or even back down to this corner. 
But in reality, he can't. And here's how you stop that. So he's going to go here. First thing you do is bring your king over. The reason you bring your king over is to defend this d7 square so that your knight can go in. He's going to move his king to try to escape, and you bring your knight in. Now, you're taking away this square. Your king takes away this square. So the black king has to either go here or here to try to escape. And it doesn't matter what he does. This is the most logical, I think, to try to go out here and, and run this way. Now you can bring your bishop back, controlling this whole diagonal. So let's just take a look at all the squares that are covered. This bishop controls this square and this square. The knight controls this square and this square. And your king controls this square and this square. So black's king has no way to get out of this corner. So he has to go back. And now you can bring your bishop up. Again, controlling this square, your knight controls this square, your king controls this square, complete wall that he can't cross. He can run here, you can go there, and you've essentially, again, moved him from this line over to here. And he can try to escape, but now you bring your bishop back, cutting off that escape route, has to go back, and you can bring your bishop up, has to go over, and you can finish the W maneuver with your knight, so you bring it back. He's trying to avoid going to this corner, so he'll probably move here. Knight comes in check. King goes over, you protect it. Only legal move is here. You go over, he tries to escape, you play check. He goes back here, and again, we have the same position we saw before. We have mate in four. Simply move our knight back. He has to go to the corner. We do a waiting move with the bishop. When he moves back, we go knight a6 check, king over, and checkmate. Now, one thing I want to point out is that I showed you from this key position right here, where the pieces were in this h8 corner. This could happen on any corner. It could happen with a different colored bishop. It just depends on where black moves his king to when you force his king to this position. So the game's not going to start in this position. It's probably going to start some random position like this and you have to start moving your pieces so for example i'm going to move my king he maybe he moves here i'm going to move my bishop he moves here i'm going to bring my knight in he moves here I bring my king in he moves here i'm gonna i don't know move my knight here he's gonna move here i'm gonna move my king here he's gonna move here and now you have to start thinking okay what would the key position look like in this corner so where does my knight need to go? Well, I have to cover the corner square, which means my knight has to be here or here. So you have to start planning how to get your knight there. So in this case, I'm thinking, okay, I want to go here. My knight needs to be here. I'm going to move my knight here, right? And then he's going to move somewhere here. I'm going to bring my knight in. He's going to move here. I'm going to maybe bring my king up. He's going to go here. Boom. Okay, I've got my knight, got my king. The only legal move for black is to go here. I'm in my bishop right here. And now I finally got the key position. So, like I said, you never know what side, what corner. It could it could be a different way, but you have to recognize it. And that takes practice. And um, just have to be aware that it's not always going to look exactly like I showed you. But the concepts and the ideas will always be the same and they will always work. So if you can remember the ideas, you'll be you should be able to figure it out at the board with a little bit of practice. All right, it is time for today's puzzle. This position is white to play and checkmate in one move. Let me know in the comments below if you can solve it. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to. Take some time to, to look that over. As always, thanks for watching. If you learned something, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you don't want to miss out on more videos like this one. And I'll catch you in another video. Thanks a lot.